Hi, my name is Sean Hunt. I'm the founder and owner of Mustang Sally Brewing Company, and welcome. How did I start the brewery? Early on, 20 years ago, I wanted to do this you know, right from the get-go. Took a long time. It took me going to law school, took me being a lawyer for 20 years, and then ultimately I got to the point where I could do it. And I actually opened up the brewery, and I've really had no regrets ever since. My passion for beer, I think it's an evolving thing. And I lived in Germany for a little while. I love those traditional styles. Um, and then as we were opening up the brewery, that's exactly what we started out with. What we were doing six years ago when we opened, what we're doing right now is vastly a different um, kind of a thing. Um, right now, we, we love sours and you know IPAs, of course, stouts. You know, it's, it's kind of everything that you would think is creative. Our head brewer is Sasha Kingry, a chemist, you know, by background, and just a super creative person that does a really great job making beer. So I actually went to school for chemistry. I was a career chemist for a long time, and then decided I want to do something more fun. So I started brewing. I've been to two different breweries, and now I'm here, and we get to make all the fun beer I can imagine. The fact that Sasha and I both have backgrounds in uh, lab chemistry makes it really easy to work together, especially when we're talking about the finer points of experimenting, but also about the, the chemical processes that happen in brewing. Brewing has become more experimental and just trying to figure out how the flavor profiles are going to develop. Um, all of that comes back to science, experimentation, mathematics. You can know all the science, but if you don't have the art, you will not make a good beer. And the same is true if you're an artist who doesn't have the science. It all just kind of comes full circle. You know, my favorite beer in the end is going to be that really elegant lager. But do I have the most fun with that? I think the, the beer that I have the most fun with right now are probably sours. We have a key lime pie imperial sour right now. The idea of a beer really tasting like a key lime pie would have kind of made my head explode, I think, about two years ago. Now I really love that. So all these ideas are just coming from the fact that I'm a little fat kid at heart. I absolutely love eating, I love pastries, and what better way to express that than in my beers. So our dessert sours, we have two that we frequently come out with. It's our crumb series, which is, we'll do a blueberry whoopie pie, and then we also have another series called loaded. So we don't discriminate by solely doing um, pastry stouts. Sometimes we're gonna throw herbs in there, you know, a little bit of sea salt. So we actually utilize that in our freak series. So we're coming up with these names based on whatever cockamamie idea comes into our head. There's really no rhyme or reason. Sometimes you come up with the beer and then the name. Sometimes you come up with the name and then the beer. So early this year, we came up with a beer called Pinball Lizard. You know, we've been doing pinball in here for a couple of years now, and uh, we really wanted to lean in on it. And then, you know, going from a small batch beer to actually naming one of our big batch beers, Pinball Lizard, was kind of a big step for us. When we first started here, we had about just a couple of pinball machines, and we didn't think that pinball would be as big as a hit as it is today. Early on, we had a friend, and he said, hey, you ought to bring in a couple of pinball machines. And so we brought in a couple of pinball machines, and it was just a wild success. And, and so then we added a couple more, and then a couple of more. Now we got 17 pinball machines. We have a pinball league every Tuesday night. Just such a tight community that we see them coming back day after day after day, and it's amazing. Pinball is part of the identity of this location now. It's a key league location. We love the beer here. It's just the perfect combination. And we were the first brewery in this area to have pinball machines. And the thing that I noticed is that every brewery in the area now has pinball machines. We do pinball tournaments every month and we're actually gonna have one tonight and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, we're expecting anywhere from 60 to 80 people to show up for this tournament and it'll be a blast. What keeps me coming back to this location is it's a great spot. There's a lot of space to hang out and 
have a snack or drink. And there's lots of different pinball machines here, lots of variety, um, lots of new games, lesser games, a lot of uh, old games that are harder to find other places. So here at Mustang Sally, uh, we have pinball leagues on Tuesday nights. It's all skill levels. That's the most important part is it's all skill levels. So a uh, lot of fun, a lot of new players that really happen to be part of the team, uh, you know, at a brewery especially, having this many games here. It's fun, that's for sure. <laughs> So with Insider Connected, it's expanded on the concept of league play and competitive play. Players want to compete in general, and having the concept of a leaderboard, which was just in introduced to the brewery, is fantastic because if I walk by the leaderboard as a player, let alone an operator, I want to put my name up there. I don't want to see someone else's name on the leaderboard. So you know, as players, we're probably going to play more, and we're going to share our results, and not just on an individual game, but you know, across the entire location. Everything in this, this tap room should be energy, right? The beers that we're making, how we serve the beers, certainly the interactions that you have with us. Um, and then the pinball is just one of those things that brings a huge amount of energy into the place, makes the whole experience just really fun.